Ongi Korean, Ongi Wang Chi is Korean earthenware, which is extensively used as tableware, as well as storage containers in Korea. It includes both unglazed earthenware fired near 600 to 700 degrees Celsius and pottery with a dark brown glaze that burnt over 1,100 degrees Celsius. The origin of Ongi dates to around 4,000 to 5,000 BC. The two types of earthenware are a patternless earthenware which is called mummin and a black and red earthenware. The former, a patternless earthenware, was made with lumps of clay including much fine sand, however, the predecessor of Goryeo Celadon and Joseon white porcelain, a black, red earthenware, was being made with only lumps of clay. The color of earthenware is determined by the iron contained in the clay and the way of burning the pottery. The present Ongi shape dates from the Joseon era. Many records about Ongi are found in Sejong Silok Jiriji Korean, King Sejong's Treatise on Geography. There are three kilns that make the yellow ongi in Chogi Gun and Jinju Mok, Jongsang Province. Uses Compared to porcelain, ongi has a microporous structure and has been found to assist in the fermentation in food processing such as the preparation of gochujang fermented chili pepper, bean and rice paste, doenjang fermented bean paste, kimchi fermented seasoned vegetables, and soy sauce. Ongi with proper porosity and permeability needs to be used in order to produce an optimally ripened quality in fermented foodstuff. Fine-tuned ongi containers are, in fact, suitable for many different kinds of fermented products. Since early times, Korea has been famous for fermented foods. In ancient Chinese historiography, in the biographies of the Wuwan, Shenbei, and Dongyi traditional Chinese, Wu Wan Xian Bei Dong Yi Chuan in the records of Wei traditional Chinese, Wei Ji which is part of the records of the Three Kingdoms, there is this remark, Goguryeo people have a custom of making fermented foods. The abundance of soybean, which grows naturally in Korea, the fresh fishery resources from the sea surrounding the Korean peninsula and a proper climate for microbial development, all give account of the importance of fermentation as food processing. However, ongi ware also contributed to the development of fermented dishes within Korean cuisine. Large ongi ware were stored on the jangdokdae, an elevated floor near the house. Features Ongi, which are made by a specialized group of workmen called Ongzijong Hangul, Ongzijong has been influenced by the characteristics and climate of the regions where it has been made. Therefore, there are shapes and sizes of Ongi and ways of manufacturing it that vary from region to region. Nevertheless, all Ongi types share some properties. These are biodegradability, porosity, and its proof against rot as well as firmness or vertebration. Due to the low firing temperatures often used in producing ongi, they are rarely found archaeologically since the sherds return to the clay state or is used as grog. Porosity While burning ongi, the ongzijong master glazes its surface. This glaze plays a key role in giving a waterproof surface and preventing leaks. Following up, many particles of sand are included in the body of the clay acting as passages for air. This way, air can move through ongi while water cannot. Koreans call this action, ongi drawing breath. This is one of the most critical reasons to use ongi in making Korean fermented foods. See also Korean pottery and porcelain Earthenware Pythos <laughs>